and I haven't played a single video game in five years. Five years. Because I replaced all those video game hours with income producing hours. Because I realized as a man, fuck a virtual world. I'm trying to get paid in the real world. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about why you must sacrifice. First of all, I'm going to start off with a question. What are you willing to sacrifice in order to make your dream life come true? Everyone wants the results, but they don't want to actually put the fucking work in that it takes to achieve that desired result. You go to the gym for one week one week and here you go looking in the mirror looking for results you're not gonna get no fucking results in one week you gotta put some work in over an extended period of time if you want to see some results most of you guys if you don't receive see results in a week or two the reality is you're gonna quit because you have a soft marshmallow weak mindset and I'm here to help you change that you love fast food more than you love your body you love beer and drugs more than you love your heart and your liver if you want to improve your body you have to make sacrifices guys part of those sacrifices include letting go of those yummy delicious fast foods that you love so much that are so addictive and that are bringing your health down you're gonna have to sacrifice time away from your kids away from your family and you're gonna have to sacrifice time away from your lady one of the things I hear more than anything from uh, from men is oh but I've got kids and I've got to spend time with them come on fellas yeah, I want you to love your kids and spend time with your kids. But your kids aren't going to miss you if you spend 45 minutes a day doing some goddamn exercise. If you want to be with your kids every second of your free time, have your uh, kids come do some exercise with you. And you exercise as a family. Or you wake, wake that ass up an hour early every day. But stop with the excuses. You have time. But you have to be consistent every single fucking day. Every day. Wake up, grind, and repeat. And then you look up five years later, and you've got the body that you want. You're not going to get no fucking results in two weeks. So you can get that out of your mind right now. And as far as your lady goes, oh, I got to spend time with my girl. Otherwise, she'll be mad at me. If I don't spend all my free time with her, she'll be upset and she'll leave me. No, she's going to leave your bitch ass if you stay fat and unattractive. That's when she's going to leave. Now, some of you all walk around all day talking about, I'm broke, I'm broke, I ain't got no money. But yeah, you only work eight hours a day. You're not putting in no real work. You got hella free time. You got 16 hours in a day where you could be doing income producing activities. Oh, but you're not willing to sacrifice that free time because you're lazy. You could be working eight hours a day on the weekends and still having the majority of your day to go play and spend time with your family and your lady and your friends and whoever. But again, you're completely unwilling to sacrifice. And here's the thing, I'm not asking you to sacrifice forever. I'm asking you to sacrifice for a short period of time to set yourself up and to set the foundation for your success for the rest of your life. But you're completely unwilling to do that because you're soft and you have a weak mentality. And the only way things are going to start to change and you're going to start to get this luck start happening to you is when you start being consistent with your habits and your effort. 
you need to give up video games. You need to give up nights out. You need to stop buying clothes and shoes to impress people who don't even like your bitch ass. Stop taking these ungrateful chicks out to fancy dinner dates and spending up uh, two, three hundred dollars. Stop going on vacations that you can't afford. Spending up fifteen hundred dollars on a vacation when you got a, a mountain of debt that you haven't paid yet. Stop smoking so much weed. Smoke weed on occasion. But if you're spending your whole fucking Saturday and Sunday and all damn day and smoke, smoking breaks during work. How can you possibly stay focused? How can you possibly be, possibly be on your grind? You need to delay gratification, which means no, you can't go buy that new car because you're broke. You may have to get a second or maybe even a third job. You need more income. Maybe you need to start a side business. Maybe you need to learn a trade but you have to start doing um, activities that produce something. Whether it's income, whether it's um, whatever it is. Now at 29 years old, for some of you young guys and you think, oh, I'm almost 25. Oh, I'm just so late, I can't possibly be successful. Wah, 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 wah. Stop your goddamn crying and get your shit together. You can make a change. When I was 29, that's when I decided to start making some changes. Guys, listen, I love video games. I love video games as much as the next man. Madden, 2K. When I was in college, I'd be on my Madden for 10 hours a day. But guess what? At 29, I sold my PS4. I remember looking at my PlayStation. I remember staring at it for like five minutes. And I just got to a point where I said, fuck you, PlayStation. And I sold that bad boy because I knew that I could no longer afford to sit around and be playing video games. And the only way that I was going to be able to stop playing was if I completely removed it from my house. And I haven't played a single video game in five years. Five years. Because I replaced all those video game hours with income producing hours. Because I realized as a man, fuck a virtual world. I'm trying to get paid in the real world. Now maybe I'll buy a, 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 a PS5 or a new system once I'm financially free and I've bought my time back with my hard work and my sacrifice on the front end, which is what you guys should be thinking. Now at this time when I started to make these changes, I also stopped seriously dating. I sacrificed going on dates. I sacrificed uh, what these chicks thought about me. I stopped giving a fuck. Oh, you don't wanna be on my program? Bye, don't care. Oh, you wanna do X and I wanna do Y? Good night, don't care. And the ironic thing is women actually started to find me more attractive because I wasn't uh, running behind their ass. I started doing what I wanted to do. But what I wanted to do was make a better life for myself. I stopped giving a fuck what these chicks thought about me. I used to go to the barbershop but I started to line myself up. I sacrificed my time. I had $136,000 worth of uh, debt. Go watch my second video if you haven't seen that one yet. And I sacrificed everything in order to pay that off. It took me three and a half years and I paid off every penny. I was working two or three jobs. I started multiple side businesses. I cut my uh, grocery budget in half. I completely stopped buying clothes. I didn't buy new clothes, guys, for four years. You talk about sacrifice. You talk about somebody who used to have a big ego. That was me. Oh, I wanted to look good. I wanted to be fly. I wanted to be on the scene. I wanted to be seen. 
Also, this lifestyle, yeah, it, it bruised my ego at first until I fell into a rhythm. Until I realized that I'm making these sacrifices now so that later I have option and I have choice and I can truly live the life that I want because I got money and I put the work in in order to get where I'm at. During this four year span, I drove a 2006 Toyota Prius. I was driving Uber in that thing. And when I first got it, yeah, I was feeling a little uh, like down about myself. I'm like, damn, I'm driving this goddamn Toyota Prius. This thing is ugly as hell. Man, I ain't pulling no hose in this thing. I, that was, I mean, that was my thoughts. But I stopped giving a fuck. I stopped giving a fuck. And when you stop giving a fuck, it is, it is truly empowering. And you gotta be willing to sacrifice. I was willing to sacrifice. And I proudly drove that, drove that Toyota Prius around. But now I got a car that I really wanna be in. But I put the work in on the front end in order to get to this point. I said no to vacations. I said no to trips. I said no to eating out. I had to learn the word no. When it comes to sacrificing, you gotta tell people no. If other people are asking you to do things that doesn't completely align with your mission, you can't be afraid to tell people to fuck off and carry on about your day. Now the number one thing you need to do when it comes to making all these sacrifices to improve your life is guys, you have to have a vision. You have to have a vision and you gotta be able to visualize exactly what you want your life to look like. And the emotions that you feel once you start to do this visualization, those emotions, they feel real. And then it just becomes about uh, manifesting your destiny after that and making a plan. And once you sit down and you write out, guys, I want you to get a pen and paper out. I want you to write out your vision and write out your plan, even if it takes you a full day to do so. And then after that, all you gotta do is just work your plan day by day. I'm not eating sugar. I'm not eating candy. I'm gonna eat the same things every single day. I'm gonna count my calories. I'm gonna eat my protein. I'm gonna lift my heavy weights. I'm going to get my fucking body right. I'm going to lose this weight that I need to lose. I'm going to work two or three jobs. I'm going to increase my income. I'm going to drive this bullshit ass Toyota, 2006 Toyota Prius. I'm going to pay off all my debt. I'm going to build up my wealth. I'm going to work on my body and my skin and my conversational skills. And I'm going to read uh, books. And I'm going to live my life with a sense of purpose, knowing that I'm working towards my dreams. And guys, that's half the battle is just making a plan and sticking to it and sacrificing those things that you know you really want, knowing that you will have them. But it's just going to take you a couple years. Lay the foundation for your life. and be willing to sacrifice. So fellas, remember, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to make these sacrifices because I promise you, they will pay off in the end. But you gotta be a beast about yours. Don't let any soft, bullshit, negative thoughts enter your mind and you keep your blinders on and you keep your fucking eye on the prize, my guy. So if you found any value in this video, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and make sure you leave a comment down below. All right, fellas. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.